All right, Ken got an artifact. That is incredible because I know they're trying to piece together where, you know, anything, yeah, anything came, came from. from. December 10th of the second 67. This is old. Hey everyone, Michael here, metal detecting Northern Colorado, NOCO for short, and I'm really excited about today's video. You know, it's not often that metal detectorists get invited to anything. We don't get invited to dig in people's yards or to historical sites or even birthday parties for that matter. So when archeologists invite us out to excavate a historical site, it's a big deal. And it was a huge honor to be invited out to a historical site here in Northern Colorado. Now, out of respect for the landowners, I can't divulge exactly where this was, but I can tell you that there was an old wagon trail that has roots going back to the 1850s, which out here in Colorado is about as old as it gets. Now, as I made my way out to this site, I had to turn on my machine and I'm glad I did. Over there, but this one's... Twenty-two. <laughs> wow. All right, so I'm at a spot called the, and I just pulled out my first. I don't know if we call that a three ringer. It's got two rings plus the base. I'm gonna go with three ring. Unbelievable. You wanna take a look at that? Whoa. That is old. <laughs> My guess would be 1860s, 1870s. Yeah. Oh my goodness. That's, that's, that's something. That is phenomenal. Yeah. That's incredible. Wow. All right, so this is going in the good bag. I got the bad bag for bottle caps and <laughs> uh, modern stuff. And then this is the good bag. This is gonna get preserved somewhere. Okay, the group, I told the group not to wait for me. <laughs> they did not hesitate, they are gone. I had to stop for a little iron signal here and pulled out a horseshoe nail. May not be a horseshoe nail. It's square. Okay, finally caught up with <laughs> the group. They're looking at uh, something over here. I think I heard Native American. Lori, what are we looking at over here? A hearth. Scattered rocks all. You can see bits of charcoal. Oh, yes. And so there's this charcoal layer forming right here. Okay, so that last item was probably just a regular building nail. But this looks like a needle. <laughs> it's got an eye. There is an eye. Maybe for leather work. Leather, it's gotta be. Yeah, it's too no, big. Uh-huh. Now we just need to find a thimble. <laughs> all right, we're gonna zoom all the way out. Oh man, look at that. All right, back in. This is why we all had to sign a waiver today. That's the top to an old oil lamp. You see the, the breathing holes there? Oh my God. And what's really fun, if you can find the little control knob, they usually put the patent date on the, on the knob. Very cool. Right? Okay, I think this counts as a surface find here. <laughs> this looks like the foot of the stove. Huh. Let's see if we can dig this out gently. All right, so it's agreed. This is probably the foot of an old stove. Yeah, old can. All right, well, I'm not sure how this would happen, but we're just finding pieces of stove all over the place. Over a broad area, this is the most ornate piece I've seen. It's got the hinge. Interesting cross design here. Still no writing, but... Very cool. Okay, I got something I guessed. What did I guess earlier? I guessed ammunition casing. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's what it is. Yep, and it's crushed. Came up in the 50s, so it was a pretty good guess. And I'll just stay right there. Okay, well, it's been fun. We're coming back tomorrow, so. I'm gonna save some for the rest of the guys. So on day two, I was joined by two very special guests, Tony from 5280 Adventures and DK from Adventures in Dirt. Yeah, it's not, it's a pretty 
We should have left the can of motion sickness bag. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We got a 60s in the hole. Tony's working a, working a 72 over there. Ken King's over there getting after that gold. All right, it is out, out of the hole. My guess is cartridge. Yep. Another cartridge? Yeah. Shorty. What's that? Oh, you got a, you got some writing. All right, I wanna go see what Ken found. All right, Ken got an artifact. That is incredible. Because I know they're trying to piece together where you know, anything, yeah, anything came, came from. from. They'd have to bring stuff in, right? So maybe so the, you know, pioneers would buy it in Chester, New York and bring it this way. What do you think? I think that's, a, I mean, that's a good, good theory. Rochester, New York. Yeah. So the Mohawk was broken off, but it was enough they could read that it was Mohawk, but now they know where Mohawk came from. Good they job, did. man. They did, yeah. No that problem. is a great piece. All right, Tony found something unusual. He's got an unspent cartridge. You know, somebody was sore when they dropped that. Unbelievable. Look at that. Yep. What Nothing do you know about these? Them. Not a lot. Not a lot. I don't know what caliber it is. I don't know. I don't know. But that's awesome. That's. What have you ever found one unspent like that? Uh, I have not. Okay, well, the first is good. Absolutely. But that's definitely the period and age we're looking for. Good find, man. Good job. Holy cow. Yeah. And just to show you where we are, I mean, we're in the bottom of this beautiful valley. Got some cows over there. We got our archaeologist, our lead archaeologist right there. Another archaeologist. I'm on the bullet. All right, finally dug out my 60 signal. It's a half of an old horseshoe. We have some surface finds out here, but I think they're more modern. But the depth tells me this is a, that's an old horseshoe. A tin can. And Ken says he's got part of a lantern. Victorian flashlight. First I thought it was a modern bottle cup. I'm like, what's that doing out there? And then I saw Oh, that. definitely. Yeah. Well, that's cool. Yeah. Got some breathing holes there. That's it. Maybe it'll go to what Lori found. She found the other part. She found the top part, or the wick, wick uh, head to it. Yeah. Huh. Yeah. Got yeah. a name on it. It's like Schilling's. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> no, right Good find. Definitely worth a flag. All right, got another squished cartridge here. Lots of this stuff. Set that right there, and we'll flag it. I think it's just amazing finding lots of these. Every single one of them squished. I had a had a Bobby Beeper here. I got an old can. I borrowed that Bobby Beeper from a Ski Searcher out in southern Illinois. Yeah, it's an old can. More can. Tony say come look over at this. What you got here? This. Oh, you got a rock. Three for. Pulled it up. Incidental finds. Then found the cartridge. Trash pit. I think, I think these are that's, bones. These are bones. A couple of nails, and I don't know if it's some sort of pottery. Pottery. Okay. Um, all wow. underneath this rock. It was underneath it. I flipped the flipped this rock over, and I was like, oh. Good job, Tony. So this pit right here. What do you got there? Oh, nice. Ken found a bullet with part of the cartridge on it still. Wow. Yeah, that's good. That's definitely the time period we're looking for. Nice job, Ken. Hey, man, thanks. Good job. What's the, what's the saying? Every squirrel? Finds a nut? Every now and then? Even a blind, squ even a blind squirrel finds a yeah, nut every now and then. Gray squirrel always finds nuts. Yeah. <laughs> good job, gray squirrel. <laughs> gray squirrel. So you may have noticed something missing, and that's coins. As one of my old timer friends told me, you know, back in those days, if they dropped so much as a penny, they would have dug a hole the size of the Grand Canyon trying to find it. So we didn't find any coins, but Tony found something really cool. Check this out. I like the sound of whatever that is. Tony got the lantern top with the wheel. 
Hopefully we'll get a pack. Uh, so we'll get a patent date. Sorry about that. Uh, October 16th. Is it 80? I can't tell. I'm going to have to get closer. I've got a loop. I'll look at it. December 10th. A couple dates. A couple dates. Yep. October. Patent October 16th, 60. And then we move around. 1860. Yeah. July 21st, 63. December 10th of 67. Uh, second, second patent. patent. So the most recent one was 67? Yeah. Dude, congratulations. Congratulations. A few moments later. Tony says he's got something good, so I had to stop. Personalized item. Got a suspension clasp. Oh, wow. Yes. Nice. Front and back. Tony's on a roll. There's a patent, it says patent up here at the top. 1860s. Yeah. 60s. Yeah. yeah. 1870s at the latest. Okay. I found a couple. There's no, like definitely that. no date on it. Uh, it just says patent. <laughs> so maybe they didn't get it approved yet. Yeah. <laughs> ah. They're anticipating. They wanted their yeah. competitors so to think. So you can think. copy that right now, and it's probably yeah. Be patent. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. No. Oh, oh nice. Man. You got an H. Got an Henry. You got an H. Yeah. That is pretty, man. Yeah, that yeah, one's good. Pretty. I'm gonna take a picture of it. Ken got an H. Get out of there. What years did they start putting the H on them? I, I think it's 1743. 1629. Really nice. And you know what's interesting yeah, about this go, one? It's, it's, yeah, yeah. What's that? See if he see yeah. if he notices. Yeah. Did you notice something about your your DK? What's party? different about that one? Yeah. What's different see, about that? See one? if you can see what's different about this this one. How do you think it was smushed? To give up? Hold on. I see dots. I see. Yeah. What are you guys thinking? Put it in your dishwasher and see if you can figure it out. There's a clue. That was a hint. All right, I, I saw you all teeth? Those, those are teeth, teeth marks, marks, man. It looks like teeth marks to me. It does. Yeah. Yeah. Do you guys not? You guys know why they're smushed? Okay. Back yeah. in the day when the Native and Americans were around, whenever they fire like cartridges, they pick them up and they smash squish it, it. Uh -huh. so they couldn't be reloaded. By the by the natives. That's why you, that's why you find them smashed like this all the time. That's why all. No, this guy didn't have fifty of them. It looks like he used his teeth. Just bit it. Yeah. Most of them, that? most of them aren't chewed like that. They look like they had, are clean yeah. uh, nice, pliers, like a pliers, like pliers, pliers or and pan, flat as a pancake. They did that? not want these huh? guys. What do you think? Did? But that guy didn't have his pliers that day. Yeah, so he's got teeth marks. It looks there. like teeth marks to me. Good job, you guys. guys. Really so More of that stove. Oh, very cool. Right, royal, royal baking powder. That's cool. That is cool. There we go. I'm happy with that one. Well, this is the part of the video where I would normally do a wrap up, but it's just not possible today. So I'm just gonna wrap it up with the uh, other piece of stove. It's been real, it's been fun, and I hope it's been real fun. Thanks for watching. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, and we'll see you next time. You know those clowns and the circus cars? Yeah, clowns. Yeah. I'm gonna go extra fast on the way out. Awesome. <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah. It's not jackass, but every person you like.